You're welcome back. 4.2 million pounds is the amount. Who owns the money is the question. Uh, we now have joining us again, Mr. Ladipo Johnson, Public Affairs Analyst. Good morning. Thanks for still being here. All right. So the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Lang, has said that they will release the money to Nigeria, 4.2 million pounds, and that to be used to finance infrastructure projects like the Niger Bridge, like the Abuja Kaduna Expressway, as well as the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. But the Delta State government, the Delta State's uh, Commissioner for Information, said this was the height of wickedness, that the money was taken from Delta State and it should go back to Delta State. Even people from Delta State are really angry and showing that on social media, saying the money was stolen from them and should come back to them. Where do you stand on this matter? Well, um, there is a treaty I've forgotten what it's called now, um, that Nigeria is a party to. And that is the sort of thing that allows um, repatriation of funds. Now, whoever recovers the funds, any state that helps recover the funds, like with the Abacha loot, um, they can take part of the funds and say, look, we spent money doing this, that, 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 and then repatriate. Now, they may not repatriate if they don't want to. So what they've been doing is to say that if we're repatriating, you have to give us identifiable projects that you're going to spend these monies on, or this money on, or whatever. Now, even at that, I still feel that the federal government, because the federal government would have spent money linking up to the government of the UK, um, because the Bori thing has been on for many, many years now, as we all know. The federal government has a right to say that we've spent so much. Out of this four plus million, the federal government wants to spend, say, two million or one point something million pounds. But the bottom line is that we all know that money more than likely came out of Delta State. Delta has infrastructural deficits as well. So you should be able to identify various projects there, call the governor of the state, sit with him, say, OK, what are the projects that need um, to be done? And let's channel this, um, this money into these projects. OK, I'm, I'm also going to ask, because I'm, I'm sure um, Abu Bakr Malami has his reasons for um, saying that the, the funds are going to go to the Second Niger Bridge, to the Lagos about Expressway and, and the likes. Serap, um, of course, um, wrote a petition asking um, what of course, the, if you remember the Sanya Bacha loot also, yes, it was the same spending project part of it that it was going to be yes. spent on. And so um, I'm, I'm going to read quickly what Serap says. It says, we urge the Nigerian government to urgently cl clarify why the £4.2 million uh, Iboru loot will be used for the construction of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway and the second Niger Bridge. Despite telling Serap last year that the Abacha loot of over $600 million was earmarked for the same projects. Yeah. Um, in response, the Nigerian government had in March told Serap that the $322 million uh, recovered from uh, Switzerland and 308 million recovered from the island of Jersey yeah. was going to be used for the same project. So quickly respond to, to that. Um, is, is there any, can the Nigerian government say, you know, yes, we did use the Abacha loot for these projects. This is how much we've spent so far. This is what is still left. And that's why we need this 4.2 million pounds. Yeah, they could say that. But then it really doesn't make sense. They could also give you accounts that are perfect, black and white. But to the average man, it really doesn't make sense that you spend some maybe 600 million US dollars on these things and um, where are we? There's been some improvement and what have you. But well, whatever you're doing, Delta State still deserves to have part of the money because it came out of the state. Hmm. Um, so 
we've had conversations. Now, you might, you might think this is funny, but we've had conversations from people who are Delta indigenous, and they say the federal government should just send one, one million to everybody in Delta State as their own way. But we know how, even during their bachelor time, we heard how the government said they were going to share this money for Nigerians, but we really can't find the head and the tail of this. And the Delta State Commissioner for Information, he said, quote, we would have understood if the federal government had said it wanted to receive 20%, you know, but to take all the money Fantastic. is wrong. Yeah. yeah, it's totally wrong. And, he sh um, and the, the, I believe that the Attorney General of Delta States should immediately go to court and file a case against the Attorney General of the Federation of Nigeria to make sure that part of that money comes to the state. Okay, we're talking about parts of that money now, but an analyst we had earlier on the show, uh, Mr. Chinde Kolawole, said if it can be ascertained that some of the funds that Iboru looted when he was governor till 2007, you know, came from the coffers of the federal government, then it's right to send it back to federal projects. How but could since, it have come from the federal government? No, well, that's what he's saying, that since the money has no link to the federal coffers, okay, it has yeah. no business yeah. with the federal federal government. And I wanted to bring in the issue of relooting looted funds. funds yes. We've seen this happen over and over again. Yeah. How can we actually check this? Do you even see a political <laughs> willingness on the part of the government to check this? Or <laughs> an opposite situation where it seems they actually enable this practice? Relooting looted funds is something that has been going on. Um, and that is why you see the British government, even um, with the one from Jersey, it was the United yes. States government that actually um, got the money, um, uh, got it um, blocked in Jersey. Um, in that matter, in that matter, because I was very much aware about it, uh, of, of the matter, the Abacha one, there was a case where the federal government of Nigeria stood aside and the Abacha family and some other person even tried to get the funds again. And the judge had to say, what? The people that stole it in the first instance are the ones trying to get it back? So you see, there's so many things. There's no political will to do what is right. We shouldn't fool ourselves. Unfortunately, there is no political will. And it is because Nigerians as a whole, maybe myself inclusive, are not ready for this country to be good. Yeah. If we were, we would hold them to account. And it's because we don't. That so, is why it continues. So, so just to quickly also ask, there's arguments about um, our lack of clarity on uh, you know, the way funds are spent and used here. We have an Auditor General you know, of uh, the federal government. We have that, you know, those of states. We have Minister of Finance and the likes. But Serap has cons continuously, over time, continued yes. to ask the federal government for better clarity on how funds have been utilized here and there. But we, we never really get any you know, response from them. So quickly speak on that. And also, Abu Bakr Malami says the deal you know, for the return of these funds was um, consummated by the federal government. And so the federal government should have the money. No, no. All he's talking is nonsense. The deal had to be consummated by the federal government because it is only the federal government that can enter into a proper contract with um, a foreign sovereign government. Even if the state is going to borrow money, you know you always go through the yes. federal government. So that is nonsense, hmm. what he's saying. Yes, you have spent money in negotiating, in doing all sorts of things. Maybe you appointed lawyers. You understand, overseas, fantastic. We have spent 1.5 million pounds. That is coming to the federal government. When it comes to the federal government, it's going to the Niger Bridge, it's going here, it's going there. But most of that money is going back to the source, which is Delta State. Okay, so, you know, as we talk about this issue, the Ibori loot, money still leaves Nigeria illegally every day. Every day. And yes. in fact, uh, Malami said the FG you know, is expecting another 100 million pounds. So how can we actually check illicit financial flows? 
we, it's difficult because you <laughs> it's so difficult. You know, um, we have a country, uh, this government came in on, uh, with an anti-corruption drive or rhetoric to that effect. And yet, um, transparency in um, international says yes. we, the perception index is worse. So we know how difficult it is. Very difficult. And I'm not just talking about government. I'm talking about all of us. I'm talking about society, uh, schools, universities, churches, mosques. Hospitals. All these things is just terrible. If you have to talk to a vice chancellor to get your son or daughter into the university. Still corruption. It's corruption. And that child knows that to make it in life, he or she has to know how to cut corners. All right. Um, would, of course, I continue to follow up on you know, these developments yes. and, of course, see where the federal government, Serap, the Delta State government all you know, end up yes. um, at the end of this discussion. Thank you very much. Let it put Thank, Thank, you, Thank you very much for, much for your analysis. All right, let's take a break here. And uh, we have a breaking story. We'll uh, be giving you updates on that right after this break. <laughs>